From splurging on extravagant yachts to commanding multinational corporations that essentially control everything. These individuals are the masterminds shaping the very fabric of the world we live in today and undoubtedly will cast their influence on our future and that of our children one way or another. In this video, I introduce to you the 10 richest people in the world. Elon Musk, $254.8 billion. As a child, Elon was captivated by technology and had a voracious appetite for knowledge. Musk's entrepreneurial journey began to take shape when he moved to Canada and later to the United States. After attending the University of Pennsylvania, where he studied economics and physics, Musk set out to make his mark on the business world. In 1995, he co-founded Zip2, an online city guide software company. This venture aimed to revolutionize the way people accessed and interacted with local information. Musk's innovative approach caught the attention of Compaq, which acquired Zip2 in 1999 for a staggering $307 million. Buoyed by his success, Musk set his sights on the financial services industry. In 1999, he co-founded X.com Comma, an online payment company that would eventually become PayPal. Musk's vision for a seamless and secure online payment system struck a chord with consumers, and PayPal quickly gained popularity. In 2002, eBay acquired PayPal for $1.5 billion, solidifying Musk's status as a tech titan. But Musk's ambitions didn't stop there. In the same year, he founded SpaceX, a private aerospace manufacturer and space transportation company. Musk's goal was to make space travel more accessible and affordable, ultimately paving the way for the colonization of Mars. In the early 2000s, Musk became involved in the renewable energy sector. He co-founded SolarCity, a solar energy services company, to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Musk's commitment to combating climate change and reducing dependence on fossil fuels was evident in his dedication to SolarCity's mission. With the foundation of SpaceX and Tesla, Elon Musk tried to redefine space exploration and sustainable transportation. The company's ambitious goal was to reduce the cost of space exploration and eventually enable the colonization of Mars. SpaceX made history in 2008 when its Falcon 1 became the first privately funded liquid-fueled rocket to reach orbit. This achievement marked a turning point in the space industry and solidified SpaceX's position as a major player. Meanwhile, Tesla, founded 2004, set out to revolutionize the automotive industry with electric vehicles, EVs. Musk's vision was to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable transportation and reduce reliance on fossil fuels. Tesla's first electric car, the Roadster, made waves in 2008 with its impressive range and performance, challenging the notion that EVs were impractical. Despite being the driving force behind the production of cutting-edge electric vehicles, Elon Musk's garage is not exclusively filled with his creations. Surprisingly, among his collection is the iconic Ford Model T manufactured from 1908 to 1927. The Ford Model T marked a pivotal moment in automotive history, introducing mass production through assembly lines and significantly enhancing affordability for the general public. While the vintage charm of the Ford Model T may appear worlds apart from the sleek and futuristic electric cars Musk is known for today, this classic gem holds a special place in his heart. It serves as a tangible link to the transformative evolution of the automotive industry that Musk continues to shape with his innovative ventures. Tesla, on the other hand, has become a global leader in the EV market, with its vehicles setting new standards for performance, range and sustainability. The company's gigafactories, dedicated to the production of batteries and electric vehicles, have further solidified Tesla's position as an industry disruptor. Despite being a billionaire business magnate, Musk has made some unconventional choices when it comes to his properties. From a compact $50,000 home in Boca Chica, Texas, to a stunning Bel Air estate worth $17 million, Musk's real estate portfolio is as diverse as his ventures. Bernard Arnold, $202.1 billion. According to Forbes, Bernard Arnold has a net worth of $202.1 billion, making him the second richest man in the world. After completing his education, Arno embarked on his professional journey. He joined his father's company, where he gained invaluable experience and insights into the world of business. This early exposure to the inner workings of a company would prove to be instrumental in shaping his future endeavors. Arno had a burning desire to create something extraordinary, something that would leave a lasting impact on the world. And so, he set out on a path of entrepreneurship and innovation. In a bold move, Arno acquired the luxury goods company Financière Agache. This acquisition marked a turning point in his career, as he now had the platform to showcase his business acumen and his vision for the future of luxury. With Financière Agache under his control, Arnaud was ready to make his mark on the world. Under his leadership, Financière Agache experienced a remarkable transformation. 
Arno's strategic decisions and unwavering commitment to excellence propelled the company to new heights. He recognized the potential for growth in the luxury industry and set out to capitalize on it. But Arnaud's true masterpiece came in 1987 when he founded LVMH Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton. This move would forever change the landscape of luxury goods. With his visionary mindset and unparalleled business acumen, Arnaud transformed LVMH into the world's largest luxury goods company. When it comes to living in style, Bernard Arno spares no expense. His real estate portfolio is a testament to his exquisite taste and strategic approach to growing his fortune. With properties valued at approximately $96 million, Bernard has created a world of luxury that most can only dream of. One of the crown jewels of Bernard's real estate empire is a French castle that exudes grandeur and elegance. Situated in the picturesque countryside, this magnificent property is a true reflection of Bernard's refined taste. With its sprawling gardens, opulent interiors and breathtaking views, it is a testament to his love for the finer things in life. But Bernard's real estate investments extend far beyond the borders of France. In the glamorous city of Beverly Hills, he owns multiple residences that epitomize luxury living. These lavish properties boast all the amenities one could desire, from private pools and state-of-the-art gyms to stunning views of the cityscape. It is in these opulent residences that Bernard finds solace and indulges in the glamorous lifestyle he has created for himself. But it doesn't stop there. Bernard's real estate empire also includes a sprawling estate in Bordeaux, a region known for its world-class vineyards and breathtaking landscapes. This property not only serves as a retreat for Bernard, but also as an investment in the lucrative wine industry. With its vineyards producing some of the finest wines in the world, this estate is a testament to Bernard's ability to spot opportunities for growth and diversification. And then there's Indigo Island, Bernard's very own private. Paradise in the Bahamas. This secluded oasis is a haven of tranquility and luxury, offering Bernard the ultimate escape from the pressures of the business world. With its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters and luxurious amenities, Indigo Island is a testament to Bernard's desire for privacy and exclusivity. He also owns one of the top 100 yachts, the Symphony. The construction of Symphony began in 2008, with a team of skilled engineers, naval architects and interior designers working tirelessly to bring Arno's vision to life. One of the most remarkable features of Symphony is its sheer size. Stretching over 100 meters in length, this floating palace boasts six spacious decks, providing ample room for relaxation, entertainment and indulgence. The yacht can accommodate up to 36 guests in utmost comfort, with a crew of 50 dedicated staff members ensuring that every need is met. When it comes to luxury yachts, price tags can reach astronomical heights, and Symphony is no exception. Rumors have swirled about the cost of this magnificent vessel, with estimates ranging from $150 million to $300 million. Jeff Bezos, $175.4 billion. With a net worth of about $175 billion, Jeff Bezos is the third richest person in the world. Between 2017 and 2021, he was the richest person in the world, according to both Forbes and the Bloomberg Billionaire Index. In 1994, Bezos founded Amazon, initially as an online bookstore. With a vision to revolutionize the way people shop, Bezos set out to create a platform that would offer an extensive range of products and services, all accessible with just a few clicks. As Amazon expanded its offerings beyond books, it quickly gained traction and became a household name. With each passing year, Amazon's growth seemed unstoppable, and it soon became the largest online sales company in the world. The introduction of virtual assistants and cloud infrastructure services further solidified Amazon's dominance in the market. Bezos's ability to foresee trends and adapt to changing consumer demands allowed the company to stay ahead of the competition. In addition to his achievements with Amazon, Bezos's passion for space exploration became evident with the establishment of Blue Origin, an aerospace manufacturer and spaceflight services company. Through Blue Origin, Bezos expressed his desire to colonize the solar system and push the boundaries of human exploration. While Jeff Bezos's entrepreneurial success has earned him accolades and immense wealth, his leadership style and business practices have not been without controversy. Bezos has been both praised and criticized for his approach to management and the working conditions at Amazon. In terms of philanthropy, Bezos has made significant contributions, although his relative lack of giving compared to other billionaires has drawn criticism. He has donated to causes such as cancer research and scholarships for undocumented immigrants. In 2020, Bezos pledged a staggering $10 billion to combat climate change, highlighting his commitment to environmental initiatives. Bezos's philanthropic efforts also extend to education 
Foundation, he has founded the Bezos Academy, a group of tuition-free preschools for low-income families, providing access to quality early education. Additionally, Bezos has granted a $100 million Courage and Civility Award to singer Dolly Parton for her charity work focused on improving children's literacy. Bill Gates, $118.5 billion. Moving on, there was no way we could exclude Bill Gates from the list of richest people. For a long time, he was the richest person in the world. He held the record from 1995 to 2017, except in 2008. Born in 1955 in Seattle, Washington, from a young age he displayed an exceptional aptitude for technology and a relentless drive to explore its possibilities. Gates' passion for computers became evident during his time at Lakeside School, where he had the opportunity to gain hands-on experience with early computer systems. During his time at Lakeside School, Gates crossed paths with his childhood friend Paul Allen. Together, they embarked on a journey that would change the world forever. In 1975, Gates and Allen founded Microsoft, a company that would go on to revolutionize the technology industry. At the time of Microsoft's inception, Gates was just a college dropout, having left Harvard University to pursue his entrepreneurial ambitions. Little did he know that this decision would shape the course of his life and make him one of the richest individuals in history. Microsoft's first breakthrough came with the development of the Altair Basic, a programming language for the Altair 8800 microcomputer. This achievement marked the beginning of Gates' ascent to success. With a keen business sense and an unwavering commitment to innovation, Gates led Microsoft to become a dominant force in the software industry. The release of the Microsoft Windows operating system in 1985 was a pivotal moment in Gates's career. Windows revolutionized personal computing, providing a user-friendly interface that made computers accessible to the masses. This groundbreaking product propelled Microsoft to new heights, solidifying Gates' position as a tech visionary. As Microsoft continued to grow, Gates assumed various roles within the company, including chairman, CEO, and chief software architect. His leadership and strategic decisions played a crucial role in shaping the company's direction and cementing its status as a global powerhouse. Beyond his role at Microsoft, Gates has dedicated a significant portion of his wealth and time to philanthropy. In 2000, he and his then-wife, Melinda Gates, established the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This foundation focuses on tackling some of the world's most pressing issues, including global health, education, and climate change. Through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Gates has donated substantial amounts of money to charitable organizations and scientific research programs. His contributions have played a crucial role in combating diseases such as HIV, AIDS and malaria, improving access to quality education and supporting initiatives to address climate change. Gates' philanthropic efforts extend beyond financial contributions. He has been actively involved in initiatives to promote research and development in clean energy technologies. In 2015, Gates founded Breakthrough Energy Ventures, a closed fund that invests in green startups and low-carbon projects. By supporting these ventures, Gates aims to accelerate the transition to a sustainable and clean energy future. There's another side to Gates that often goes unnoticed, his impressive property portfolio. From sprawling estates to private islands, Gates has invested his vast wealth in properties that are not only luxurious, but also have the potential for significant returns. One of those is the Medina Mansion, a 66,000 square foot mansion known as Xanadu 2.0, with a price tag of $131 million. Larry Ellison, $135 billion. Growing up in a reformed Jewish home, Ellison was exposed to the values and traditions of his faith. However, as he matured, he developed a skeptical view towards religious dogmas, paving the way for his independent thinking and unconventional path. Ellison's educational journey began at South Shore High School, where his inquisitive mind and thirst for knowledge became evident. It was during these formative years that he discovered his passion for technology and the endless possibilities it held. Larry Ellison's insatiable curiosity and passion for technology would soon lead him down a path that would forever change the industry's landscape. It was during his early career as a computer programmer in Berkeley, California, that Ellison's true potential began to emerge. In the early 1970s, while working at Ampex, Ellison stumbled upon the groundbreaking research of Edgar F. Codd, who had developed the concept of relational database design. This discovery ignited a spark within Ellison, setting him on a mission to revolutionize the world of databases. In 1977, Ellison co-founded Oracle Corporation, a company that would go on to become a major player in the database industry. With a clear vision and unwavering determination, Ellison set out to create a database management system that would surpass all others. Oracle's flagship product, the Oracle Database, quickly gained recognition for its innovative features and superior performance. 
Ellison's leadership and business acumen propelled the company to new heights as it competed with established players like Sybase and Microsoft SQL Server. Larry Ellison also amassed a jaw-dropping fortune through his billion-dollar real estate empire. The breathtaking Malibu mansion has become a symbol of opulence and grandeur. Nestled along the pristine shores of Carbon Beach, this architectural masterpiece stands as a testament to Ellison's impeccable taste and insatiable desire for the finer things in life. Spanning over 9,000 square feet, the Malibu mansion boasts a striking contemporary design that seamlessly blends with its natural surroundings. The sprawling estate offers unparalleled views of the Pacific Ocean, with floor-to-ceiling windows that invite the mesmerizing beauty of the ocean into every room. The interior is a harmonious fusion of modern elegance and comfort, featuring luxurious amenities and state-of-the-art technology. One of the standout features of this Malibu oasis is the private movie theater, equipped with the latest audiovisual technology and plush seating for an immersive cinematic experience. Ellison's love for the arts is evident throughout the mansion, with an extensive collection of rare paintings, sculptures and artifacts that adorn the walls and create an ambience of sophistication. Steve Ballmer, $111.2 billion. According to Forbes, Steve, Bolmer's net worth is estimated at around $111.2 billion, positioning him as the sixth richest person in the world. However, before Steve Bolmer became one of the richest people in the world, his story began with humble beginnings. Born on March 24, 1956 in Detroit, Michigan, Bolmer grew up in a middle-class family. His father worked as a manager at Ford Motor Company, while his mother was a homemaker. After completing his studies at Harvard, Bolmer enrolled in Stanford University's MBA program. However, his path took an unexpected turn when he made a life-changing decision. He dropped out of Stanford to join a small, up-and-coming software company called Microsoft. Ballmer's decision to join the company in its early stages would prove to be a pivotal moment in his life and the tech industry as a whole. Ballmer quickly made his mark at Microsoft, working tirelessly to help the company grow and succeed. His dedication and hard work did not go unnoticed, and in 1998 he was appointed as the president of Microsoft. Two years later, in the year 2000, Ballmer took over as the CEO of Microsoft, succeeding his close friend Bill Gates. This marked the beginning of a new era for the tech giant, with Ballmer at the helm. During his tenure as CEO, Ballmer faced both triumphs and challenges. He oversaw the launch of Windows 7, which became a massive success, and introduced the Microsoft Surface tablet, revolutionizing the way we interact with technology. However, Microsoft also faced fierce competition from rivals like Apple and Google, and the company struggled to keep up with the rapidly evolving tech landscape. Despite these challenges, Bulmer's leadership and strategic decisions played a crucial role in Microsoft's growth and success. When Bulmer took over as CEO in the year 2000, he inherited a company that was already a tech powerhouse. However, he faced the daunting task of maintaining Microsoft's dominance in an ever-evolving industry. While we all know about his incredible career, not a lot of people know about his real estate ventures. From luxurious mansions to sprawling estates, Bulmer's properties have always been a subject of fascination. Situated at 3,810 Hunts Point Ard Hunts Point, this enchanting house offers a sprawling 7,297 square feet of meticulously designed living space. With five bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms, all impeccably appointed, it's clear that no expense was spared in creating this luxurious residence. The acquisition of this property reportedly made alongside his wife Connie is said to have involved a considerable sum of $9.8 million, further attesting to the undeniable allure of this exclusive property. Warren Buffett, $118 billion. Earning recognition as one of the most renowned investors globally is a substantial achievement. This is evident in Warren's impressive net worth, which stands at $118 billion. Buffett showed a keen interest in business and investing from a young age. He would spend hours poring over financial newspapers and books, absorbing as much knowledge as he could. His entrepreneurial spirit was evident even in his childhood, as he started various small businesses such as selling chewing gum and Coca-Cola bottles door to door. Buffett's interest in investing was sparked by his father, Howard Buffett, who was a stockbroker and a member of Congress. His father's influence, combined with his own natural curiosity, laid the foundation for Buffett's future success in the financial world. During his time at Columbia, Buffett was fortunate enough to study under the renowned investor Benjamin Graham, who would become his mentor and greatly influence his investment philosophy. 
Graham's teachings on value investing, which focused on buying undervalued stocks and holding them for the long term, resonated deeply with Buffett and would shape his investment strategy for years to come. In 1956, Buffett formed his first investment partnership, Buffett Associates Limited, with a group of friends and family members as investors. This marked the beginning of his journey as a successful investor and laid the groundwork for his future ventures. After forming his first investment partnership, Buffett Associates Limited, Warren Buffett's career began to gain momentum. One of Buffett's most notable investments during this period was his acquisition of Berkshire Hathaway, a struggling textile manufacturing company. Despite the company's declining prospects, Buffett saw an opportunity to transform it into a diversified conglomerate. Over time, he shifted Berkshire Hathaway's focus from textiles to insurance and other industries, turning it into the multinational conglomerate we know today. Buffett's investment philosophy, often referred to as value investing, became the core stone of his success. He believed in buying stocks that were undervalued by the market, holding them for the long term and patiently waiting for their value to be recognized. This approach allowed him to capitalize on market inefficiencies and generate substantial returns for his investors. One of Buffett's most famous quotes perfectly encapsulates his investment philosophy. Be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. This contrarian mindset enabled him to make bold investment decisions during times of market uncertainty, often reaping significant rewards. Buffett's investment success was not limited to stocks. He also ventured into the world of mergers and acquisitions, making strategic investments in companies across various industries. His notable acquisitions include Dairy Queen, Geico, and Fruit of the Loom, among others. These acquisitions further solidified Buffett's reputation as a savvy investor with a knack for identifying undervalued assets. Despite his immense wealth, Buffett has always maintained a frugal lifestyle. He lives in the same modest house in Omaha that he purchased in 1958 and is known for his simple tastes. This down-to-earth approach has resonated with many, as Buffett's humility and relatability have made him an admired figure in the business world. But perhaps what sets Buffett apart from other billionaires is his unwavering commitment to philanthropy. In 2006, he announced that he would donate 99% of his fortune to charitable causes, primarily through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This pledge, known as the Giving Pledge, has inspired other billionaires to follow suit and has had a profound impact on philanthropy worldwide. Larry Page, $117.5 billion worth an astonishing $117.5 billion. Even as a child, Page displayed an extraordinary interest in computers and technology. In fact, he made history as the first kid in his elementary school to turn in an assignment from a word processor. This early fascination with technology set the stage for what would become a groundbreaking career. Page's journey to co-founding one of the most influential companies in the world began at the University of Michigan. During his time there, he showcased his ingenuity by creating an inkjet printer made entirely of Lego bricks. This innovative project caught the attention of many, foreshadowing the groundbreaking ideas that would come to define Page's career. But it was at Stanford University where fate intervened and brought Larry Page together with Sergey Brin, another brilliant mind who shared his passion for technology. The duo's partnership would change the course of history. In 1997, Page and Brin co-founded Google, a search engine that aimed to organize the vast amount of information available on the internet. Their breakthrough invention, the PageRank algorithm, revolutionized the way we access information online. This algorithm analyzed the relevance and importance of web pages, providing users with more accurate search results. Google quickly gained traction and became the go-to search engine for millions of people worldwide. Page's visionary leadership as CEO from 1997 to 2001 and again from 2011 to 2015 propelled Google to new heights. He focused on developing greater autonomy for executives overseeing important divisions, fostering collaboration and unity among teams. Under Page's guidance, Google expanded its offerings and made strategic acquisitions, notably the acquisition of Android. The world's most popular mobile operating system solidified Google's presence in the tech industry. Page also led the creation of Google+, Plus, a social network aimed at connecting people in innovative ways. Page's ambition didn't stop at software. He ventured into hardware with the release of the Chromebook, a revolutionary laptop that showcased Google's commitment to innovation across various industries. The birth of Google marked a turning point in Larry Page's life, propelling him to the forefront of the technology industry. His innovative thinking, focus on user experience, and commitment to pushing the boundaries of technology laid the foundation for his incredible success. Mark Zuckerberg, $124.8 billion. At just 23, Zuckerberg was already the youngest self-made billionaire. Now worth $124.8 billion by Forbes, Zuckerberg is one of the richest people in the world. 
Zuckerberg's talent and passion for coding led him to Harvard University, where he continued to explore his entrepreneurial spirit. It was during his time at Harvard that the seeds of Facebook were sown. In February 2004, Zuckerberg launched Facebook, a social networking platform exclusively for Harvard students. The website quickly gained popularity among the student community, providing a virtual space for them to connect, share information and build relationships. The success of Facebook prompted Zuckerberg to expand the platform beyond Harvard's walls. He enlisted the help of his roommates, Eduardo Saverin, Andrew McCollum, Dustin Moskovitz and Chris Hughes, to further develop and scale the website. The expansion of Facebook went far beyond college campuses, transforming the way people communicate and share information. The platform became a global phenomenon, revolutionizing the social media landscape and solidifying Zuckerberg's position as a tech industry titan. While Zuckerberg's rise to wealth and success is undeniably impressive, his focus extends beyond personal gain. He has dedicated a significant portion of his wealth to philanthropy, aiming to make a positive impact on various global challenges. In 2010, Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan founded the Startup Education Foundation and donated a staggering $100 million to improve the public school system in Newark, New Jersey. This initiative aimed to provide better educational opportunities for underprivileged students, reflecting Zuckerberg's commitment to equal access to quality education. Furthermore, Zuckerberg and Chan have signed the Giving Pledge, a commitment by the world's wealthiest individuals to donate the majority of their wealth to charitable causes. Through their philanthropic organization, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, they have pledged to donate 99% of their Facebook shares over their lifetime. This initiative focuses on areas such as education, healthcare, science, scientific research and addressing social issues. In 2014, Mark Zuckerberg made headlines when he acquired a staggering 286 hectares of land on the picturesque island of Kauai in Hawaii. The price tag? A jaw-dropping 116 million US dollars. This vast expanse of land includes the breathtaking Pilar Beach and Kahuena Plantation. However, this purchase did not come without its fair share of criticism. Then, in March 2021, news broke that Zuckerberg had added another 245 hectares, 600 acres of land, to his Hawaiian portfolio. This time, the purchase was on Kauai's North Shore, and it came with a price tag of 53 million US dollars. The new addition included not only a public beach but also a working cattle ranch, further expanding his already luxurious estate, which he affectionately named Koolau Ranch. Just six months later, Zuckerberg continued his buying spree by acquiring an additional 45 hectares of agricultural land for a whopping 17 million US dollars. This parcel of land includes the Carloco Reservoir, which remains on the island's list of high-risk dams. With each purchase, Zuckerberg's land holdings in Hawaii grew, solidifying his status as a major landowner on the island. Zuckerberg's Hawaiian paradise is not just a display of wealth. It is a testament to his commitment to conservation and sustainable practices. Sergey Brin, $112.7 billion, worth $112.7 billion US dollars. Brin was born to Russian Jewish parents, Mikhail and Eugenia Brin. His father, a retired mathematics professor at the University of Maryland, and his mother, a researcher at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, instilled in him a love for learning and exploration from an early age. Sergey's journey to becoming a tech titan began when he enrolled at Stanford University in the mid-1990s. It was during his time at Stanford that he met his future business partner, Larry Page. The two shared a common interest in exploring the vast potential of the internet and its impact on information retrieval. In 1996, Sergey and Larry embarked on a groundbreaking research project that would change the course of their lives forever. They developed a search engine algorithm called PageRank, which revolutionized the way search results were ranked. This algorithm formed the foundation of what would eventually become Google. One of Brin's notable investments is in the electric car company Tesla, founded by his close friend and fellow tech visionary Elon Musk. In 2004, Brin became an early investor in Tesla, recognizing the potential of sustainable transportation. His investment has proven to be incredibly lucrative, as Tesla's stock value soared over the years, contributing significantly to Brin's net worth. But Brin's investment portfolio doesn't end with Tesla. He has also shown a keen interest in the field of biotechnology. In 2013, Brin invested in a company called 23andMe, co-founded by his ex-wife Anne Wojcicki. 23andMe is a direct-to-consumer genetic testing company that provides individuals with insights into their ancestry and health traits. Brin's investment in 23andMe not only reflects his passion for scientific advancements, but also adds to his already substantial wealth. Furthermore, Brin's philanthropic efforts have played a significant role in shaping his net worth. 
Through the Bryn Wojcicki Foundation, established with his ex-wife Anne, he has donated millions of dollars to various causes. The foundation focuses on education, healthcare and scientific research, aiming to make a positive impact on society. One notable philanthropic initiative supported by the foundation is the Breakthrough Prize. This prestigious award recognizes outstanding achievements in the fields of physics, life sciences and mathematics. Bryn's involvement in the Breakthrough Prize not only highlights his commitment to advance scientific knowledge but also enhances his reputation as a philanthropist. In addition to the Breakthrough Prize, the Bryn Wojcicki Foundation has also made significant contributions to education. They have supported initiatives that promote access to quality education, particularly in underserved communities. By investing in education, Bryn aims to empower future generations and provide them with the tools they need to succeed. It's important to note that while Bryn's investments and philanthropy have undoubtedly contributed to his net worth, his motivations extend beyond financial gain. Bryn is driven by a desire to make a positive impact on the world and to support causes that align with his values. Thank you for watching this video until the end. To view more videos similar to this one, click on the cards displayed on your screen.